Okay, I have another viewer request, which I think is a great one to look at. Um, Jen Small, thank you for the suggestion. Um, she asked me to look at Wendy Dean Murdoch. Um, she's, I'll give you a little background on her. She uh, is from China, a uh, small town in China. Her parents were both engineers, uh, reading my notes, so pardon me for keep looking over to my left. Um, she was sponsored by Jake and Joyce Cherry to come to the U.S. Uh, after dropping out of college in China. Um, she later married Jake Cherry, so gee, thanks a lot Jake and uh, Joyce for bringing her over to the U.S. and breaking up their marriage. <laughs> um, she's, she's obviously an opportunist. She later uh, divorced Jake, married Rupert Murdoch uh, when she was working for Star TV in Hong Kong. Um, met Rupert Murdoch. They married. They had two children. Uh, Grace and Chloe, I believe, are their names. They're like teenagers now. Um, they divorced uh, after 14 years in around 2013. Um, she had uh, ties to a former ex-CEO from Google at one time uh, and then linked to Putin as his girlfriend. Um, Putin, uh, he, had, he had one of his Russian cronies, uh, Roman uh, Abramovich, who got a $35 million yacht from Putin after elections. Um, so apparently Roman Abramovich was uh, helping Putin in the elections. Um, and Wendy Dean Murdoch was seen boarding uh, Abramovich's um, yacht after he received it from Putin. Um, and then linked, obviously, to uh, meeting up with Putin uh, many times. So, um, Wendy, uh, Ivanka, didn't, she introduced Ivanka and Jared Trump, um, got them back together when they broke up briefly at one time, uh, supposedly because of religious differences. Uh, I think Ivanka later converted to Judaism. Um, by the way, happy Hanukkah to any of my Jewish viewers out there. <laughs> That's a little aside. Um, so she uh, named Jared and Ivanka to the trust, um, to the board that uh, is responsible for the protection of the trust for her two children, Grace and Chloe Murdoch. Um, and I believe their Wendy Dean Murdoch is the godmother of Ivanka's children. Um, she's visited, they used to get together very frequently in New York. They were always, you know, in the socialite buzz photos and things. Um, she was present at a pre-inauguration uh, dinner and ball that was uh, very select and who was invited to it. Um, lots of photos on Twitter and Instagram and stuff with her and Ivanka, with her head on Ivanka's shoulder. Um, she, the CIA warned Jared about her uh, Gosh, I can't remember. I think it was 2017, right after the inauguration, um, claiming, you know, warning him that she may be an undocumented um, lobbyist for China. And she has since uh, been trying to get different buildings, um, different, um, different things uh, approved. Uh, there was an arboretum or something that she was trying to have built by the Chinese multi-million dollar project in Washington, D.C., but they had this proposed this big ivory tower that um, the CIA deemed was um, too risky for possible surveillance in Washington, D.C. Um, so she's, she's very um, proactive in pushing Chinese businesses and Chinese agendas. Um, you know, she helped get uh, MySpace going in China with Murdoch's help and uh, was the CEO of MySpace um, China at one time. Um, so she's got a lot of ties and a lot of opportunist things. Uh, she's now got a, a boyfriend that's like 21 years or junior. Um, she has traveled uh, Europe with Ivanka and Jared. Um, was spotted at their home in Washington, D.C. Uh, earlier this year. Um, a lot of things going on with Wendy Dean. So let's take a look. Wow, four, four minutes of me babbling about her. Let's take a look at Wendy Dean. How involved is she in possible Russian things? And is she in Mueller sites? 
Um, Ivanka has always bragged that whenever she has a phone call with Wendy that she ends up leaving this phone call with four new contacts and I'm sure Wendy helped her get connected in China at one time um, when Ivanka was doing business there. Um, I believe Ivanka and Jared resigned from the Board of Trustees for Wendy's Children after the inauguration, but Wendy Dean, how involved are you in all this mess going on and is, is either Mueller or CIA or FBI looking at you, um, the messenger card just flipped out. Well, there's some smoke and mirrors around her. Let's take a look. She definitely has some hidden agendas, um, secrets and hidden agendas. Interesting that the moon card has ivory towers on it since I was just talking about the ivory tower <laughs> situation in Washington, D.C. Um, yeah, a loss, something painful, something painful in her environment. Uh, three of Swords could involve three people, Jared, Ivanka, and Wendy. Um, in the foundation, she's been a star, um, you know, also helping with networking. Um, she's the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know, you know, how much money maybe she gave to the Trump campaign or if she connected them with donors. Um, yeah, she's she's the practical queen. So, you know, as I alluded to that she's a opportunist, you know, wealthy men's are things. Um, now she's got enough money. She doesn't have to worry so much about the wealthy men. <laughs> she's She's got her 21 year junior boy toy, uh, but she's, she's an opportunist. There's new plans coming with money. New plans coming with money. Um, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone very wealthy, but yeah, I'm feeling very dark money on this. I'm feeling the dark energy um, could be could be over Trump. Um, we have uh, the Sun card, illumination um, can can signify happy times, um, but it, it's also a card of illumination. Um, the King of Wands, which is often showing up now for me as Muller, he either shows up as the King of Wands for me or the King of Swords. When he's making plans and um, you know, looking, looking into things, he often shows up for me as the King of Wands. When he's action-oriented, you know, and indictments are coming and, and uh, we're, you know, he's making his moves, so to speak. He'll, he'll show up very firmly as the King of Swords. So I'm, I'm feeling like Muller is looking into him uh, or into her, Wendy Ding. Um, I think it does involve travel uh, that has been going on. And I think he's getting ready to shine his spotlight on it. He's, he's 
got new plans and new information. He's he's taken that wisdom within, and he's getting ready to shine the spotlight on her uh, possible connections. You know, here's Trump trying to hang on to what he's got. Here's the, the bonding card. This has to do with Wendy's and Jared's and Ivanka's friendship. And the nostalgia card. And here's Putin. Um, yeah, something's, something's going to come out on her related to Putin. Um, let's take a look at... Will Lin Wendy Dean be indicted? Star card, um, she could either have hopes or she could end up being a star witness. Um, I'm kind of feeling like star witness <laughs> off of her energy. Let's see. Sword of Truth, Sword of Truth, and secrets coming out, covering it, secrets coming out. Um, you know, the truth's been buried, but the, the secrets are going to are gonna come out. Um, you know, swords are about um, intellect and words and thoughts and even written communication. Um Swords, like when I do personal readings on health, swords represent for me the central nervous system and the brain. Um, you know, and if issues are going on there, it's um, so I'm feeling like thoughts and intentions and then acting on them. You know, swords then acting on them. Um, in the foundation, we have the page of swords. She's she's been a spy. She's been a spy. Um, she's been a spy for, um, well, she might, she might even be a, a two-way thing because I'm feeling Trump energy here. We had Putin in the last reading. Um, she might be kind of double agenting. She may, she may, she may be one of the backdoor, um, channels for communicating. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that, um. Crowning the reading, the miser card, trying to hang on to what he's got. Um, you know, this is this is Trump. This is Trump trying to hang on to what he's got. Um, then we have again the um, the three of swords, hurting and painful, uh, possibly for three people. Um, Wendy is trying to move to calmer waters, um, but. Somebody's somebody's working on information. Somebody's working on the money trail. Somebody's working on indictments. Um, it's going right into the happy home. Right into the happy home. Um, whether this could be Trump and the White House and the family, um, or even going into the Republicans. Um, you know, this is my card for the GOP. Could go even further beyond Trump into the Republicans. Let's lay a couple more clarifiers here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it goes back to her, her bonding card with Jared and Ivanka. It goes back to Putin. Um, big changes, big changes coming. Um, and she's going to be embattled. So, yeah, I'd say she's, she's probably looking at facing indictments. And, um... Because I have the star card on the bottom, I would say it has to do with the networking that she's done, as well as um, a star witness. A star witness. You know, this person has a foot in the water and a foot on land. It's like, you know, she's got a foot overseas and a foot here and ties all over the world. And, um, yeah, it could be she's working for China. It could be she's also working for Putin. She's working for Murdoch. God knows. She's working all all angles. All angles. What a network. Um, <clears throat> I would say definitely there's some really interesting things we're going to learn about uh, Wendy Dean Murdoch. Um, let me see if I can get a timeline, sort of a general timeline on when things are going to come out about her. Judgment card on the bottom. Okay, when I do uh, timeline readings, you can either lay out in days, weeks, months, uh, the way I do it anyway. Um, I laid out in um, months to get a general idea. So this is December messenger. messenger. Um, I feel like this is her going, it's, you know, it can be new information coming out right now uh, to Mueller right now, uh, but I feel like she's, she's working as a messenger even right now in this month. Um, January, um, you know, trying to find her balance and trying to balance the money in general, trying to balance the money. Uh, so she may be caught up in money laundering things, trying to hide money, shift it here to there. Um, February involves overseas. She's looking overseas, looking to her future. February, something with overseas. So she's, yeah, I think, you know, Information is going to come out about money shifting around. Um, December, January, February, March. Um, the happy home. I'm feeling White House energy off this March that they're going to start tying information. Wands are you know also about information and um, wands because they're plans and growth and because they're of trees. I also see paper. Uh, with ones, I feel like there's going to be a paper trail coming out connecting to Washington to the White House in March, April, uh, end of a cycle um, involving world, global, global things. May, a lot of information coming in, and um, I feel like May is. Uh, actually when indictments are going to be written then june we have the justice card acting on those indictments and um july mother russia here now um i want to talk about this card for, for a few minutes the empress card which often shows up for me as mother russia she's pregnant with possibilities you know she's pregnant she's like a, a new mother she she often shows up in personal readings as the mother energy um, and what you have to remember with 
uh, someone who's about to give birth, um, they're excited, they're um, feeling joyous, often, uh, not always, but often, you know, they're excited about the birth that's coming, they're making plans, um, they're, um, they understand that, you know, it takes time to give birth to those ideas and creative things, it takes time. Um, and it also can be painful. You know, birth is painful sometimes. So uh, most of the time, as most women who have given birth will say, birth is painful unless you're medicated. <laughs> um, so to me, it says, uh, yeah, there's indictments coming and the Justice Department is going to act. And um, I do feel Mother Russia energy off of this, but I do feel like it's gonna take some time with this one, with Wendy. Um, that's the message I'm getting because um, you know, you can't stop a birth, <laughs> you know, once it starts, you can't stop a birth, but it does take time. Um, so I feel like there will be continuing ongoing investigations on this. So, um, that's what I'm seeing on Wendy Ding. I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right. Wendy Ding, Putin's ex, Wendy Ding Murdoch. Um, let's see what happens with her, but I think it's going to be really interesting. I, I do see a lot of connections there and that she may have been one of the back channels. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like that, um, please click the like button and subscribe to see future videos. And thank you again to Jen Small for suggesting that one. Um, I had totally kind of forgotten about her and she's an interesting character. So thanks again for that request. Bye-bye.